Hello everyone! On this episode of Splendid Ideas with Maria, I'm going to show you how to create this amazing DIY home decor using jute twine and rope. If you like this video, click the like button and share it with your friends. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. Now let's get creating! Okay, so to create the candle holders, you're going to need two glass bowls, one bigger than the other, and some twine. Now I'm going to take some of this twine and I'm going to measure to the length of the bowl and I'm going to cut 16 pieces of those. Okay, so here I have my 16 pieces all already cut and I'm going to glue eight of them. Uh, to the close, very close to the top around the opening of the bowl and I'm just going to use my hot glue gun for this. Okay so now I'm, gonna, I'm using my hot glue gun and I'm only putting a little dab of glue on the tip of the jute twine and I'm going to glue only that little piece to the top just like so and then I'm going to glue the next one right across right the opposite side of the one I just glued and I'm going to continue going around doing the same thing. I glue one on one side and then I glue it on the opposite side just so, just so that I space them kind of about the same size. Okay, so this is where it looks so far. Now I'm gonna take my jute twine and I'm going to glue, put a dab of glue at the end of that um, string and glue it to the bottom, just a little bit slanted and I'm gonna glue them all like that. And I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so this is what it looks so far. So now I'm gonna glue the other eight pieces and I'm gonna take one and I'm gonna glue it right on top of one of them that I had already glued. And then on the bottom, I'm gonna keep one of the jute one and glue it at the bottom of the next one, if that makes sense. And then I'll continue doing that pattern until I have glued all of my eight pieces.
Okay, let me show you what it's looking so far. And next, I'm going to take more jute twine and I'm going to glue it to the opening of the bowl. And I'm going to glue it around it about four times. All right, let me show you what I have here so far. And don't worry about all the hairs and, and the glue around it. All of that will be cleaned later. I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna do the same thing to the bottom. I'm gonna take more jute twine and I'm gonna glue about four, I'm gonna go around it four times. Alright, this is what it looks like and you can just leave it as is, the way it is right now. Um, but of course it needs a little bit of cleaning so I'm going to take a wet napkin so that I can remove the strings of glue and a little bit of the jute twine hairs that are shedding all the way on the bowl. And so like I said, you can use it like this or you can do what I'm going to do in the next step. I'm going to take some um, candlestick holders. I have one here, I glue two of them together, use a strong glue to glue them together, and then we're gonna decorate the candlestick holders with a little bit of jute twine, and then I'm gonna glue it to the bowl. So to decorate the candlestick holder, all I'm gonna do is just go about three or four times around it with a little bit of hot glue on two spaces around the top and on the bottom, and then I'm gonna glue it to the bowl. Okay, now for the purpose of this video, I'm only using a hot glue to glue my candlestick holder to the bowl, but you should use a strong glue, like the E6000 or Epoxy Gorilla Glue, or anything you have that is a strong glue, so it doesn't come apart later. And now for the finished touch, I'm just gonna add one of my candles. Okay, now for the second project, I'm gonna take this small base that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm gonna wrap it with this jute twine. What I'm going to do is just gonna add a dab of glue to the tip of the twine and then I'm gonna wrap it a few times and then I'm gonna add a little bit more glue. So every few, I don't know, every four or five rows, I'll add some glue. So here it is, completely covered um, on the jute twine. And if you have like a little bit of glue seeping out through the through the jute twine, you can just scrape it off with your finger or something that you have and it should come off. Okay, next, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my white chalk paint and I'm going to paint a stripe on the bottom of my base and another stripe on the top of the base. Now to decorate my vase, I'm going to use one of these fabric flowers and I'm just gonna glue one right here. Now my vase looks absolutely gorgeous. I love how this turned out, it's really beautiful. Now you can display your vase as is because it's really beautiful, just as a decorating piece. And you can add some flowers if you like. I have some artificial flowers here, but you can also use real flowers. 
Now for my third project, I'm going to use this basket that I got from Dollar Tree and I am going to decorate it with rope. The rope that I got is 0.2 inches. So I'm going to start by gluing it, starting from the bottom, I'm going to use um, hot glue. And the first row I will glue all the way around with glue, but you don't want to waste all of your glue sticks. So every on every side, you can put a little bit in the beginning, a little bit in the middle, and a little bit towards the end. And that way you save some glue. All right, so let me show you what it looks so far. Now, I wanna leave this opening open. I don't wanna cover it, so I'm gonna glue my rope all the way up to here. I'm gonna cut it there so that I can leave that open. And as I mentioned before, to save some glue, you can just add a little bit of glue right here in the, in the front, a little bit in the middle, and a little bit towards the end on each side, and that saves you some glue. So this is what my basket looks like and you can leave it as is because it looks really good uh, but I'm gonna go one step further and I'm gonna use some of my white paint because I want all of my pieces to be cohesive it looks like it's like one collection so I'm gonna paint a white stripe of paint on the top of my basket And now for the final touch, I'm going to use another of my fabric flowers and I'm going to glue one on each side, on two of the sides, not on all four sides. Just one on this side and one on the opposite side. And now we have a really cute basket that I can use to store anything I want. And now for my last project, which is my favorite, I'm going to be using this 14 inch mirror and a foam board, which you can get from Dollar Tree. I'm going to use some of the rope that I was using before and I'm going to be using this natural color rope that I got from Amazon. I'll put a link in the description box. And I'm going to start by measuring my rope around the mirror and then I'm going to cut it. And where I cut it, I'm gonna wrap that end with a little bit of tape so that um, the rope doesn't come apart and then I'll be doing that I'm gonna start with the um, with this one first with this rope and then I'm gonna go around it uh, five times with the white rope and then I'll do another one with the brown rope
Okay, so now that I have all my pieces cut, I'm gonna, I did this off camera, but you have to glue the mirror to the foam board first, and then uh, start gluing all of my pieces of rope around the mirror. Make sure that the first piece is really tightly closed uh, to the mirror, and then you glue the rest. But at the bottom part, don't glue that part. Just start kind of like about three, two or three inches from the bottom because we need the bottom part to be loose. Okay, now I'm going to be using this box cutter to cut the foam board all the way around. Make sure you have like a mat or something underneath so you don't damage your table. I couldn't find mine. So I'm going very slowly uh, so I don't go all the way through. And I'm gonna cut it all the way around and then I'm gonna lift it off the table and I'm gonna finish cutting it. Next, I'm going to take some of this tape and I'm going to cover where I cut the ropes. I'm going to put a piece on the top and a piece on the bottom. And this way it would also make it easier when I start wrapping it around with the chew twine. Okay, now I'm going to take the jute twine and I'm going to uh, wrap it around. I'm just gonna go, you can either go from the top or from the bottom, it doesn't matter. As long as you wrap it around, I'm gonna first tie it and then I'm gonna go around covering all that tape a few times around until all the tape is covered.
Now, as you can see, I finished wrapping uh, all the area with the tape wasp, with the two twine, and I'm gonna cut it there. And I'm gonna stick the little piece underneath, and I'm gonna glue it there with my hot glue gun. And then, if you remember, as you can see, all that area is not glued, so I'm gonna use my hot glue gun to continue gluing the rest of the rope to the uh, foam board, making sure that the, especially the inner one is very tightly close to the mirror. Okay, now to cover this area, because we don't want the foam board to show, I'm gonna glue another rope all the way around. Okay, so now that we made it to this point, out here, what I'm going to do is, as you can see, in between you can still see the foam board. So I'm gonna go another time all the way around, but before we do that, I'm gonna make a loop and I'm gonna glue it like that. I'm gonna first glue it, make the loop, and then continue gluing it all the way around, covering that middle section, just like that. Okay, now that we made it to this point, I'm going to measure it to see how much I need. I'm gonna cut in there, and then I'm going to put some hot glue, and then I'm gonna tuck it in so that the end of the rope doesn't show. Okay, now so my mirror is almost finished uh, but you know anything can be fixed if you see any imperfection you can always go with them like I'm not very happy with these two areas over here so what I'm going to use I'm gonna take two of my uh, fabric flowers and I'm just gonna glue them there and they will look very cute and they will cover those little imperfections So look how gorgeous my beautiful mirror turned out. It is my favorite piece of all of them. And I hope I inspire you to create some of these uh, creations because they will look absolutely gorgeous in your home. All right, my friends, this is all for now. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, click the like button and share it with your friends. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.